Uh, good morning. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today with uh, Simone Belloni, who is uh, uh, in charge of uh, the unit uh, of the lessons of the unit uh, about uh, uh, the software uh, uh, Primavera P6 by Oracle. Uh, inside our uh, specializing master uh, um, uh, BIM manager. Um, and we are uh, with, with him today uh, to know something about the contents uh, of uh, uh, this uh, unis, uh, unit and uh, uh, his lessons. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, so uh, nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, I'm Simone Belloni. I'm a P6 uh, uh, specialist, certified specialist, and now I'm. I wanna. I wanna explain you the content of uh, of this uh, uh, of this course, of this training course. So um, as uh, um, as uh, uh, we explained before, we will see. We will talk about the Primavera P6, uh, not only for the um, not only for the product side, so not only for the software, but also for the concept that the Primavera P6 can uh, um, is able to manage inside the, the construction uh, the construction industry. So uh, we will start from to to, to explain the general uh, information about the planning uh, and the cost control. Uh, okay, in general, in a construction uh, in a, in the in the construction industry. So uh, not only the software. I repeat after that. Uh, we will see obviously uh, what is Primavera P6. Uh, we will understand the um, history of Primavera P6 because uh, it's a uh, um, more than 10 years of software. Okay, so uh, we will see how to navigate inside uh, a Primavera P6, uh, um, understanding the menus, the buttons, uh, and so on. So um, more more focus on the on the software. Then uh, we will go inside uh, a, a specific situation situation uh, and see the feature that we are able to manage with Primavera P6. So uh, starting from the enterprise project structure, so how the project can be managed uh, inside uh, uh, a company. Okay, so not only as a single project, but uh, as a multi-project portfo uh, project portfolios. Also, uh, we will touch, uh, touch also the organizational breakdown structure. Uh, in how to manage this uh, structure inside Primavera P6. So um, who are the respons uh, responsible uh, inside every single project? Uh, who is responsible of what uh, inside a, 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 a gun chart, a planning uh, project? So uh, this concept, uh, in low words. Uh, after that, we will start uh, directly uh, to uh, create something uh, inside, uh, uh, for, for what concerns a new project inside Primavera P6. So starting from the WBS, uh, we will define uh, what is uh, WBS and, and how we can create and manage WBS inside Primavera P6. After that, we go more deep in detail. So uh, we started to create uh, some activities. Uh, we start some to create and define which are the relationship between the, the activities, uh, how to manage the duration, uh, how to manage uh, um, dates uh, in low words or starting dates, uh, finish dates, uh, and so on. So we will see the um, the characteristic of the of, of the task of the activities uh, inside a Gantt chart. Uh, after that, uh, we will calculate. We will schedule. Uh, uh, so we will uh, calculate the starting and the finish date of every single uh, uh, task, uh, depending on the relationship, and we will define and calculate the critical path, very important, into, into the planning and, and cost control uh, um, uh, um, methodology okay so we will see later on the uh, how to manage a layout inside primavera p6 uh, this is a more software side part of the of the training course but it is very very important because uh, it can help the planner or course controller to use primavera in a better way okay in a quicker and better way after that, we will see obviously how to manage resources in Primavera P6. So, which are the resources we can manage, uh, in which way we can use uh, uh, these resources and allocate these, use, these resources uh, uh, to the tasks. 
of our Gantt chart. Um, we will see also how we can um, manage the costs related to the, to the resources. So um, we can create also some specific report, a classical report, for example, a baseline versus actual reports, uh, manage baselines, uh, 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 do some uh, uh, variances analysis uh, and those cost analysis. Uh, and then in the end, uh, we will see how to manage the, um, the financial period inside Primavera P6, very important to um, store and uh, manage the actual information, not only for the time, but also for the, uh, for the cost. So in low words, these are the contents of, the, of this course. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Simone, very helpful. And uh, in your opinion, we, you know, we have decided uh, uh, to, uh, to make inside the specializing master the whole course uh, about Primavera P6, uh, uh, the whole uh, 35 hours of, mm -hmm. uh, of uh, this course. Uh, in your opinion, why is it so important for uh, a BIM manager uh, uh, to know how to use this software? Because Primavera P6 uh, is, uh, in my opinion, uh, the most important planning and uh, cost control uh, uh, software uh, since uh, the last, uh, I think, 20 years uh, or more, 30 years, because uh, it's uh, more or less, uh, it has my age, <laughs> Primavera P6. And uh, uh, this software is uh, uh, the standard software for this kind of, uh, of methodology all over the world. So if you uh, will work for, uh, for example in a in the in the emirates uh, and you uh, will work in a in an oil and gas project uh, you will use for sure primavera p6 for the planning and, and the cost control if you will work in the in australia or in italy on uh, um, in other places uh, uh, absolutely, you will use Primavera P6 because uh, this is the um, after all, this is the standard for the for the planning and the cost control in general. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Simone. So uh, we look forward to uh, having you uh, in, inside the specializing master, uh, which will start uh, uh, next March. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Right.